Welcome to YouTube. Welcome to Dr. Vibes Learning Point. In this video, we will study about the pathophysiology of dengue. In this video, we will study about the pathophysiology of the severe dengue. Now, this is a very, very commonly asked question in your professional examination, and also you should know about the pathophysiology of dengue because dengue is a very common disease that occurs, in, especially in case of monsoon season. Okay, so before knowing what is the pathophysiology, you should know what severe dengue is. So there are certain characteristics of severe dengue that is abnormal hemostasis, circulatory insufficiency, thrombocytopenia, and there is multi-organ dysfunction. Now, one more thing you should know that severe dengue always occurs after the person has got a primary infection of dengue. That means this is the second time, maybe a third time when a person is getting infected by a dengue virus. I mean to say that this is not the first time that the human has been exposed to a den virus. Well, why am I emphasizing on this point is that there is a significance related to it. And that you will understand in case of pathophysiology. So in one line, if I say what is the pathophysiology of severe dengue, it is antibody dependent enhancement of the disease. Antibody dependent enhancement of the disease. Now let's come to the elaboration. So infection of the dengue virus for the second time. Okay, now let me explain what does this mean. So suppose you have had a dengue infection for the first time, antibodies have been produced against the serotype of that then virus. Those antibodies are present in your body. Now, if you are being infected with the dengue virus second time, usually this den virus is of the other serotype. That means the previous antibodies will not be able to neutralize this new infection, right? So as a result of which, what will happen? The previous antibody will make a complex with the new den virus. That is what I'm trying to say here. So antibody is already present against the dengue virus from the first infection, but that is of the other serotype. So it will not be able to neutralize it. Rather, it will form a complex. A virus antibody complex has been formed. Okay. Next, what is happening? Suppose these are the dendritic cells or the macrophages or the monocytes of your blood. Now they have the FC receptor. This virus antibody complex will bind to the FC receptors of these cells. What will happen? This will facilitate the entry of these virus particles into the cells. Now, there will be the replication of the virus particle at a higher rate inside the cells. This will lead to cytokine storm. Now, this cytokine storm will produce four features of dengue. That is endothelial dysfunction, increased capillary permeability, hemoconcentration, hemorrhage and circulatory insufficiency. And you also have organic, sorry, organ dysfunction. So one more feature of severe dengue is that of thrombocytopenia. What happens is the antibodies against the NS1 antigen. NS1 antigen is the antigen that belongs to dengue virus. So antibody against the virus antigen will bind with the proteins that is present on the surface of the platelets. That will cause the destruction of platelets, causing the platelet count to get reduced. That is thrombocytopenia. Now there is activation of the blood clotting and the fibrinolytic pathway. So this is what explains the four characteristics of severe dengue, that is hemostasis, circulatory insufficiency, organ dysfunction, and thrombocytopenia. I hope you find the video useful. If so, please like, share, and subscribe. And you can contribute to the channel as well, so that I can improve the quality of making the videos. Thank you so much.